Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So, um, as you can see by the title, this video is another what I eat in a day video um, while pregnant. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am vegan. So uh, I've already started my day. For those of you who was wondering, I do still take my CMOS. I actually just ran out this morning. I used the last bit of my CMOS this morning, but I already ordered more and that should be here hopefully by the end of the week so that I don't miss out too many days of, of taking it. But I started my day with a tablespoon of sea moss and some water. And now I am drinking my tea, which I'm almost finished. And this is nettle and soursop leaves. So, oh, and I stopped sweetening my tea. I don't put agave or honey in my tea anymore. I've been weaning myself off of that for a while now. And I think I finally... I'm finally there where I don't need to sweeten it and I can still enjoy my tea. So yeah, this is all about um, living a healthy lifestyle. This is not about no diet. I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat today. Like I said, I started my day with my sea moss, water, now I'm drinking my tea. Then I'm going to have some fruits. The only fruits I have today I think is mango and star fruit, but I just make sure that I get my fruit in every day whatever I have. Um, Saturday when I went to the market, nobody had the soursop and a couple other fruits that I usually buy. So the only thing I have for this week is mainly mangoes and star fruit. I have a papaya, but it's not ripe yet. So um, I'm not busting that open until it get fully ripe and nice and sweet. And then I could full enjoy that as well. Uh, I'm gonna tag you guys along on what I eat today and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoy these type of videos of me sharing what I eat maybe it's giving some of you ideas or whatever the case may be uh, of healthier options and I'm a very simple person I can't stress that enough I'm so simple when it comes to what I eat I eat what I like and what I like I don't get tired of unless it's a pregnancy aversion or something and I just can't eat it, which I have some of those, but right now I just eat what I like and I keep it really simple. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> so I'm eating me some star fruits and sliced mangoes. Um, I usually don't cut up my mangoes, honestly, but when I'm trying to multitask, work and eat, it's just easier to have it cut up because then I could keep my hands clean while I work. So, yeah. So I am about to start preparing my lunch. And if you watch my previous What I Eat in a Day video, you know I usually eat a late lunch, probably like around between 3.30 and 4.30, I would eat my late lunch. And I do that purposely so that my body has time to digest my food before I go to bed at night. So I make my lunch my heaviest meal of the day because, you know, when you're pregnant, your food digests much slower and going to bed on a full stomach is not fun and it increases your chances of getting really bad heartburn and all of that, at least me. So I'm gonna prepare some quinoa, so stir fried with like quinoa, um, what am I saying? I'm gonna prepare some quinoa stir fried with like some chickpeas and I'm gonna saute some bok choy greens that I got from the market and I'm gonna make a kale salad with some avocado so while I'm fixing that I'll be drinking my smoothie and this is just mixed berries so it's blackberry raspberry strawberries and then it has sea moss chia seeds some almond milk and some agave in this. So I'm gonna be drinking this while I prepare my lunch. So I had already prepped everything this morning just to make it easier on myself. I do like bulk of the work in the morning since it's much cooler in the morning. So when I come in the kitchen, I could be in and out. <laughs> 
So this is my bok choy that I'm going to saute. And then I'm using these seasoned peppers for my quinoa. And this is some fresh parsley and cilantro. I just love fresh parsley and cilantro. So I might put some in my quinoa. And I'm also putting some in my kale salad, which I've already cut up my kale. And then I have my tomatoes and cucumbers in this. So, yeah, you guys can follow along. Oh, and my quinoa and my chickpeas are already pre-cooked. I just got to take them out of the fridge so I don't have to go through boiling it and all of that. So, yeah. So, this is not a tutorial, y'all, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. Well, some of what I'm doing. Um, I'm just putting a little, shit, that was too much, coconut oil in there. I'm just going to lightly saute these bok choys because they're going to shrink down to nothing. So because I'm pregnant, I have not been using like heavy seasoning and spices because it just doesn't agree with my stomach. So I've been keeping it extremely simple when it comes to seasoning my food. And I try to use as much fresh seasonings as possible because... I just it just agrees with my body better right now and fresh seasoning is actually better regardless so um, but when it comes to these bok choy I'm literally just lightly sauteing it with some coconut oil and some sea salt and I may sprinkle a little onion powder in it um, because I would usually saute it with some scallion or green onions and I don't have any more so yeah I'll show you guys how it look when it's done so that's pretty much for the the bok choy greens. I like I said lightly saute them because I feel like when you overcook greens, you just cook out all of the nutrients. So you know, the best thing to do is actually steam it. But you know, regardless, you don't want it to overcook till it starts to look all brown and soft. And you have no nutrients left in your food. What's the purpose of that, right? <laughs> so just lightly sauteed. And it already smells so good. Can't wait. So now for the quinoa, I am going to start by using some grapeseed oil. I'm using the same pack. So yeah, I just put some grapeseed oil in there and I'm going to put in my seasoned peppers. I love seasoned peppers and everything here I literally bought from the market. So, you know, it feels nice to know that they're locally grown and organic. Some seasoned peppers and I'm going to throw in some of these fresh parsley and cilantro. So I'm just going to allow this to saute before I add in my dry seasonings and chickpeas. Okay, so the dry seasonings that I add in here is just some basil, some chive, a little garlic, um, literally a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder. Oh, I want to add some turmeric too. Hold on. Okay, so I added some turmeric. And it smells so good already. Let me turn down my eye. And now I'm going to add my chickpeas. Okay, look at this. <laughs> How good does this look already? Well, to me. <laughs> and it smells good too. So, I'm going to add my quinoa to this. Stir fry it. Make sure all the seasonings marinate into each other. And that's it. Okay, so my quinoa is done. It looks good. It smells good. I haven't tasted it yet. I don't know. I don't taste my food. <laughs> my food. I literally sit down, wait till I sit in down to eat to taste my food and it just works out for me. Uh, so yeah, 
I'll let you guys know how it tastes when I sit down to eat. But that's it. I have my bok choy here, my quinoa, and my kale salad is here, ready to just be seasoned up with some olive oil, some lime, some sea salt, and a little bit of nutritional yeast and agave. But I'm not going to do that until I'm actually sitting down to eat. Oh yeah, and something else I added to my quinoa is coconut aminos. This here, I came down with this from the state. So that's it. And you guys will see my plate when I'm ready to eat. I'm still working on my smoothie. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. If I don't finish it, I'll save it for later. And that way I have something light to put in my system before I go to bed. But that's pretty much all I'm going to be eating today. And I'll probably drink some soursop tea later tonight. Okay, so this is my finished plate. So that you guys can see properly. Got my quinoa, my kale salad, my bok choy, my avocado. My kale salad is actually half of my plate. Literally half of my plate. So... Yeah, the majority of what I'm about to eat is my kale salad. And let's see how it tastes. Well, at least the quinoa. Mm. Okay. Yep. This is getting me bowered. <laughs> mm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to mash this up right now. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Help me grow my channel. Um, it doesn't cost you a thing, but a second to just hit that button. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up because it helps my videos and my channel get more exposure on YouTube. And it helps me reach more people, which is what I'm trying to do. So just support your girl and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe, share this video. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic and everything you do. Isn't that nerds?